Welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. I'm Nero. Deck number six in the installment of Battle Ready Decks. Today we have Nowhere to Hide, German Italy Control Deck. Before we get into it, full disclosure, I'm a member of the Cards Contributor Program. I am not paid by 1939 games. I am not endorsed by nor receive compensation from 1939. My thoughts and opinions are my own. Let's go ahead and this is the sixth deck in the Battle Ready Deck series. First five have been really, really good. I'm going to say from the start, I am not as happy with this one as I am the other five. We have seven decks in total at the moment. This is my least favorite of the six that we've done. We have one more for tomorrow. We'll get into the reasons why. Here's the curve. 19 units, 16 orders, four countermeasures. I wouldn't say we're heavy on one, but we've got ones here which are going to be careless talk through the breach. Kind of get stacked at three. Then we have four, five, six. So this is a very slow deck if we were to plot out the, the average credit per card would be on the higher side of the five decks that we've done. However, I will say that given how the decks are coming out, it would be extremely difficult, I think, and this is where I'm not going to be as critical as I could be. This is the second deck with a German main nation. The cards like Comet, 20 Panzer, 22nd Infantry, cards like that have been used in a deck already and when you buy a deck, you're not buying the same cards twice. So now you have to build another German deck with cards that you might and possibly be putting into here that you can't use them because they're put into a different deck. So let's get into what we currently have. We have three copies of Through the, Through the Breach, which deals one damage to a unit, two damage instead if the unit is in the support line. Three countermeasures, so your turn one plays, you're coming out defensive. That's it for the one drops. You have six. You have the first elite, which is a countermeasure from the deep. When your enemy deploys a unit, destroy it. Uh, it's a it's a good elite. I wouldn't put it great because it's only going to be in certain kinds of decks. It's not a an auto include like uh, Nasha in a lot of decks or Comet. <clears throat> Two copies of U three seventy U three seventy five. So this is going to be your discard deck. Uh, today's video and tomorrow is both going to be on discard. U375, two copies of that. Two copies of Equal Claws, which does two damage to units in the support line. Three copies of 980 Volks Grenadier. Three copies of 101st Infantry Regiment. A lot of times you're going to be pairing 101st Infantry Re Regiment to one of the copies of H39 SWG which we know, call it swag. Two copies of Rapid Engagement, new addition to the card pool. Recently, remove a friendly unit from the battlefield, then return it and give it blitz. And when you see the video footage, you'll see this card coming, having an impact on the game. Lion for a day, destroy target with four or more attack. We've already covered the H39 SWG. Three copies of six Alpini, Alpine Guard. There's not really an Alpine theme per se, but there are a couple Alpine cards in here. <clears throat> Two copies of Wolfpack, which is a newer addition to the card pool. Send target unit to its owner's hand. The enemy discards a random card. So that's what do we have? Four discard spells at the moment. Two copies of Case Yellow, deal one damage. Doesn't have to be to a unit, can be to the headquarters. Your units get plus one, plus zero. Oh. The enemy discards a card. Two copies of 7th Alpini. I like 7th Alpini a lot. Um, it's used in a lot of Soviet Italy, Britain, Italy decks. Alpine Guard, damage dealt by this unit. Adds equal defense to your headquarters. Three FW-190As, 5-5 five, five Fighter, draws a card upon deployment. Please know that if you cast, uh, what is it? 
rapid engagement on an F1, 190A, or any other deployment effect. The deployment effect doesn't trigger. That's the way the card uh, rapid deployment is designed. So don't think that if you do this again and draws a card, it's not an enter the battlefield effect. It's a deployment effect. One copy of Annihilation, so it's another discard card. La Decima, destroy target enemy unit in the support line. Another guard, ambush guard. One copy of Maelstrom, dealing four damage to each non-veteran unit. Schutzen's not in this deck. We could speculate as to why. Maybe it's on a rotation schedule. Maybe it's going to be in a different deck. We don't know. So we just look at the cards that we have included here. One copy of Leopold, send all enemy units to their owner's hand. It's a playable elite on ladder, for sure. Uh, doesn't make its way to OCC very often, almost, almost never, but it's certainly playable on ladder. Uh, from the elites, we have From the Deep and Leopold. So a little bit down on the amount of elites into a deck, down a little bit on specials, but again, a lot of the specials, a lot of the elites that are used in German decks are already in an existing deck, the Blood and Iron deck. So the value part is you're not duplicating purchases because it's not going to help you if you you can't buy the same card twice. I mean, you can, but it's not going to go to your card collection. I look at this deck as not necessarily battle-ready. I mean, you can play it. It is slow. It will have some matchups that are better than others. I think it's the least of the ready of the battle-ready decks. Um, value, sure, you, you still have value. We've talked about that yesterday. $20, how many hours of playtime do you get to determine value? There are cards in here that you'll want. Uh, Leopold, perhaps, will be one that you'll want in your collection. Seventh Alpini. But there's just fewer elites in this deck, uh, fewer specials, because they exist in another deck. So on a value scale, yeah, it's, it's the least valuable of the six that we've covered. We've got one more video for tomorrow. Is playable, sure, a little bit. You can climb ladder with it. We'll get into some gameplay footage here in just a second. But again, heavy, heavier curve, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Average credit per card would be on the higher side. We've seen some decks that are really heavy on one and two drop slots. But anyway, we'll get into some footage. Thank you for being here. Stay safe. Be well. Thank you.